numerator should be equal to denominator. When you get the answer, first and last, second and third should be equal. Mean proportion is B square is equal to root of AC. Formula. As a formula, nu ratio is equal to old ratio multiplied by remaining ratio. Hello, my dear student. Very good morning to one and all. I am Dr. B.S. Subramanya, called by name Dr. B.S.S., Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Aid College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. I am going to hand quantitative techniques for semester unit 3 session 1 become in favor of new chapter called ratio proportion and percentage today we are going to deal what do you mean by ratio what do you mean by proportion what do you mean by percentage ratio is a comparison of two quantities same quantity has been compared it is called ratio proportion comparison of two ratio Comparison of two ratio is called proportion. Comparison of two quantities is called, we can have a ratio. What is ratio? Ratio is a comparison of two quantities. Whereas a proportion is a comparison of two ratios. You must be very careful. Same quantity we are going to compare. Two sweets will compare. Two fruits will compare. Two flowers will be compared. Two buys of the same percentage will be compared. Proportion here, no proportion. Two ratios will be taken into consideration. We'll move on to problem now. First problem. 10 is to 40, x into. So what the problem says, no? First and last, second and third. First and last, Second and third, that is the procedure. So, 40 into x is equal to 10 into 2000. How it is? First and two extremes, two interims we say. First and last, second and third. First and last, second and third. Mult multiply 40x. So, two ones are two followed by four zero. This is 20,000. So, x is equal to 20,000 divided by 40. So, this is equal to cancel the zero. Four fives are 20, 500. So, this is 10 is to 40 is to, what is the x value? 500 is to 2000. See that? 2000 into 10 is 20,000. 500 into 40 is 2000. This should be equal. How it is? When you get the answer, first and last, second and third should be equal. So, 40 into 40,000 into 5,000 is 20,000. 2010 is 20,000 means correct. Second, same thing. First and last, second and third. So, 80 into x is equal to 21 into 400. This is 80x. 4 ones are 4. 4 twos are 8 followed by 2 zero. x is equal to 8400 divided by 80. x is equal to 8400 8, divided by 80. 105. 81s are 80, 4 remaining 0, 85s are, 85 are 400, 105. 
So here the numbers are 21 is to 80 is to what is your x value? 105 is to 400. So 400 into 21, 400 into 20 was 8400, 105 into 80 is 8400 is equal to 8400, 8400. LHS is equal to RHS. Committed. Then we move on. Find the third proportion. A is to B is to B is to C. What's your A? 2. This is 2 is to 6 is to what's your B value? 6 is to C. 2 is to 6, 6 is to C. First and last. 2C is equal to 6 into 6. 2C is equal to 36. C is equal to 36 divided by 2 is 18. So, 2 is to 6. See that how it will be? 2 is to 6. 6 is to 18. See that? 18 twos are 36, 6 six are 36. So 36 is equal to 36. LHS is equal to RHS. Slow, though it seems, seems to be very, very simple. First you have to learn this, then we will go to a big problems. Then we we'll move on to the next. Third proportion, this is 4 is to, same formula. A is to B, B is to C. What's your A? 4. 4 is to 12, 12 is to C. So, first and last, second and third. 4C is equal to 12 into 12. 4C, 12, 12 is 144. C is equal to 144 divided by 4. So 144 divided by 4. 36. Number is 36. So numbers are 4 is to 12 is to 12 is to 36. First and last, second and third. 4 into 36, 12 into 12. So, 36 into 4, 36 into 4, 144. This is 144. So, LHS is equal to RHS. So we go to the third proportion. Then next, next method, we want to mean proportion. Mean proportion is B square is equal to root of AC. Formula. B square is equal to root of AC. So we have got 45 is to 25. A is so the formula is A, L, so 45 mean proportion, square of that, B square is equal to root of 45 into 25. Root of this almost 45 into 25, B square. So what is 45 into 25? 45 into 25. B square is equal to root of 1, 1, 2, 5. Root of this. It would have been a 5, then it would have been a perfect root. 1,125. B is equal to root of 
33.54 not a perfect rule because number like this then we move on to next one find the mean proportion of so 64 and 8 and 64 b square is equal to ac so b square is equal to ac b square is equal to 8 into 64 b square is equal to 64 into 8 512 b is equal to root of 512 root of this 22.63 22.63 not a perfect root point so this is the way of doing b square is equal to ac b square 8 into 64 b square is 512 b is equal to root of 512 square root of this 22.63 then a is to b is 8 is to 9 b is to c is 4 is to 5 c is to D is 8 is to 9. Find the ratio slowly. A is to B is equal to what? 8 is to 9. A is to B is 8 is to 9. B is to C 4 is to 5. This and this have taken. So, here also B, here also B. What's a B value? 9. Here, you put it here. Into 9. What's a B value? 4. Multiplied by 4. 4 8s are 32. 4 9s are 36. Then here, 9 4s are 36. 9 5s are 45. So B, B common. Therefore, A is to B is to C. I have taken the B common. 36, 36 is there. What's your A? 32. What's your B? 36. What's your C? 45. Then, A is to B is to C is to 32 is to 36 is to 45. Then C is to D is equal to 8 is to 9. What is common here? C. What is the C value? 45 here. What is the C value? 8 here. So C value 8 multiplied here. What is your C value? 45 here. Multiply 8 into 30. The C value goes here. C value comes here. 32 into 8, 256 is to 36 into 8, 288, 45 into 8, 360 here. 45 into 8, 360, 45 into 9, 405, C common. So, A is to, A is to B is to C is to D. What's your A? 256. What's your B? 288. What's your C? 360. What's your D? 405. So this is the ratio because this 6 is there, 5 is there, which is not divisible here. So we move on to next one. Hope you understand this. A and B are partners. 
sharing the profit in the ratio of 3 is to 2. They admit Mr. C as a new partner for 20%. Find the new ratio. First, we write the formula. New ratio is equal to old ratio multiplied by remaining ratio. What is the formula? New ratio is equal to old ratio multiplied by remaining ratio. I think you have learned in accountancy this one. New ratio is equal to old ratio remaining ratio. New partner C. New partner C is equal to 20%. 20 by 100. This is 1 over 5. Therefore, remaining ratio 1 minus 1 by 5 is equal to 4 by 5. This you have to learn. So, what is the new partner ratio? 1 over 5. Therefore, out of 5, 1 has been given to new partner. How much left over 4? 1 minus 1 by 5 is 4 by 5. Now, we can apply now. New ratio is equal to old ratio multiplied by remaining ratio. So, who are the partners sir? A is, A is to B is equal to 3 is to 2. So, A is equal to 3 by 5, B is equal to 2 by 5. This is a old ratio. This is called old ratio. We will apply now. New ratio. A. What is the old ratio of A? 3 by 5 into. What is your remaining ratio? 4 by 5. Just multiply 12 by 25. Come back to B. What is the old ratio of B? 2 by 5 into. What is your remaining ratio? 4 by 5. Multiply 8 by 25. C. What is the new ratio? 1 over 5 into. What is the LCM here? 25. What is the LCM here? It's 25. In order to get that 25, what to do now? Here LCM is 25, here LCM is 25. In order to get the 25, this should be multiplied by 5, put the 5 also. 5 by 25 is nothing but 1 by 5. So, if here by charge it is, is a 20, 4, 4. It is 15, 3, 3. It is 5 by 25. See that numerator should be equal to denominator. 12 plus 8, 20 plus 5, 25. So, numerator is equal to 25. Therefore, A is to B is to C. 12 is to A is to 5. A is to B is to C. 12 is to 8 is to 5. This way you have to do. Last step, can you understand? 1 over 5, what is the LCM here? 25, what is the LCM here is 25. To get the 25, multiplied by 5, divided by 5. If it is only 20, 4 divided by 4. If it is 15 only, 3, 3. If it is only a 10, 2, 2, you have to do it. Hope you understand this. Then. A and B are partner in the ratio of 3 is to 1. They admit Mr. C for 25%. Find the new ratio. So, new, new ratio of C is equal to 25%. That is 25 divided by 100. 
this is 1 over 4. So, remaining ratio remaining ratio 1 minus 1 by 4 is equal to 3 by 4. We mean to say in mathematics out of 4 we have given 1 ratio to new 1. What old partners are? A is to B is equal to 3 is to 1. Therefore, A 3 by 4 is to 1 by 4. So, apply new ratio is equal to new ratio is equal to old ratio multiplied by remaining ratio. New ratio is equal to old ratio multiplied by remaining ratio. You go with A. What's the old ratio of A? 3 by 4. What's the remaining ratio? 3 by 4. This is multiply 9 by 16. Come back to B. What's the old ratio? 1 by 4. Remaining ratio? 3 by 4 multiply 3 by 16. C. What is the new ratio is given? 25 percent. 1 by 4 into. What is the LCM here? 16. What is the LCM here? 16. To get the 16, it should be multiplied by 4 divided by 4. 4 by 16. See that numerator should be equal to denominator. 9 plus 3, 12 plus 15. So, A is to B is to C. Numerator should be equal to denominator. 9 plus 3, 12 plus 4, 16. So, there is the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 4. Same thing what we did in the last problem also. Same method you are following. But this will come for 5 marks. Hope you understand this particular point. Shall I explain? 25% is 1 by 4. Monthly salary of 2%, Rama and Bhima are in the ratio of 5 is to 9. If their salary increase by 1000 and the near new ratio would be 3 is to 5, find their salary. Let, let the number be x, ah, what is the ratio, Rama is to Bhima, is equal to 5 is to 9 or 5x is to 9x. Then their salary increased by 1000. The new ratio is 3 is to 5 increase. So here 5x plus 1000. Then divided by 9x plus 1000 equals to how much? 3 by 5 is equal to 3 by 5. Cross multiply 3 into 9x plus 1000 is equal to 5 into 5x plus 1000. Why we have added 1000? Increase by 1000 they say. Multiply 3 nines are 27x plus 3000. 5 are 25x plus 5000. You take the yes, this side equals plus x become minus x. 27x minus 25x is equal to 5000. If this number comes, minus 3000. 
This is 2x. 5000 minus 3000 is 2000. So x is equal to 2000 divided by 2 is equal to 1000. So 5000 x means 5000 x means 5, there is the ratio 5x minus 3. 5 into, what is the x value? 1000. 9 into x value? 1000. This is 5000 is to 9. Substitute the values. Understand? So they, they have got 5x increased by 1000. Second one, 9x increased by 1000. So they are in the ratio of 3 by 5. I cross multiplied. Cross multiplied like this. So find out the x value. X value. So, so x is 5 into 1000, 5000. 9 into 1000 is 9000. Hope you understand this. Monthly salary of 2 percent Ramu or Somu are in the ratio of 5 is to 9. If the new ratio 6, you find the salary increased by 4000. Here only increased by 4000. Let the salary be x. Ratio 5 is to 9 is nothing but 5x is to 9x. The new ratio is 6 is to 10 increased by 4000. We can write 5x increased by how much? 4000 divided by 9x increased by 4000. They are in the ratio of 6 is to means 6 by 10. So cross multiply 10 into 5x plus 4000 is equal to 6 into 9x plus 4000. See that 5x plus 4000, 9x plus 4000 is equal to 6 by 10. Cross multiply 10 into 5x is 50x plus 4000 into 10, 40,000. 6 into 9, 54x. Plus 4 into 6, 24,000. So you take 50x, if you take minus 54x, plus becomes minus, it is 24,000. If the 40,000 comes that side, minus 40,000. This is minus 4x. 40,000 minus 24 means minus 16,000. Cancel the minus minus. X is equal to 16,000 divided by 4, 4,000. So 5x is to 9x. 5 into 4,000. 9 into 4,000. 20,000, 36,000. Same way. By chance, decrease if they ask in the exam now, minus that sat in the ratio of 6 to 6 by 10. Hope you understand. We have followed everything here. Monthly salary. Here now, 25. This you must be careful. New ratio is equal to Old ratio multiplied by remaining ratio. So, one fourth, one minus one fourth is three by fourth. New ratio is equal to three by four, one by four. New ratio is old ratio into remaining ratio. The last step, 
वन बाई फोर फॉर सी एल सी एम ईयर सिक्सटीन फॉर सी एल सी एम ईयर सिक्सटीन टू गेट द सिक्सटीन वन बाई फोर इंटू फोर बाई फोर ये फोर बाय सिक्सटीन सो दे आर इन द रेश ऑफ नाइन इज टू थ्री इज टू फोर एट दिस नो नाइन प्लस थ्री ट्वेल्व प्लस फोर सिक्सटीन नोमरेटर शुड बी इक्वल टू डिनोमिनेटर वी गो वन बाय वन नो ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स यू सॉल्व सी दैट फर्स्ट वन लास्ट सेकंड एंड थर्ड दिस एक्सट्रीम एक्स वैल्यू सेम थिंग यू हैव डन देन रिगार्� a is to this amount proportion a is to b b is to c 2 is to 6 6 is to 6 this is lhs is equal to rx here also 4 is to 12 12 is to c 4 c is 144 c is 36 lx is equal to rhs then mean proportion b square is a root of a c b square root of 45 1033.4 then b square is equal to a c B square equal to 510. B is equal to root of 512. This is B is equal to root of this. This can be written as B square is equal to AC. B square is equal to 45 into 25. B square. B is equal to root of 1125. One, one, B square. B is equal to root of 1125. This is a value. Same thing, b squared is equal to ac, b squared is equal to 512, b is equal to root of this. Then, a is to b, b is to c, what I did know, a is to b, b is to c, what's a b value? 9, here b value 4, this should be multiplied by 4, this should be multiplied by 9. So, it will come 32, 36, 36, 45. So, what I did know, 32, 36, 45, c and 8 and 9, which is common here. B and C. C here D is there. So 8 here. Here now C. I multiplied this. I multiplied this. C is uh, 45. C is uh, here now 8. C is 45. Put it here. So they are in the ratio here. Then new ratio partnership now 20%. 1 by I think 1 over 5. Formula new ratio is equal to old ratio multiplied by new ratio. We have given 1 by 5 to new partner. What is the remaining ratio left over? 4 by 5. So out of 5, 1 rupees is equal to new partner. How much left over? 4 by 5. So you are done. Then same portion you are done here also. Here 2 persons Ramo. They are in the ratio 5 is to 9. We can put as x. 5x is to 9x, increase by how much? 1000. 5x plus 1000, 9x by is equal to how much? 3 is to 5 is 3 by 5. Cross multiply, get the x value 1000. Same monthly salary of 2% Ramo and so are in the ratio of 5 is to 9, 5x is to 9x. And if the salary have been increased by 4000, 5x plus 4000, 9x plus 4 is equal to 6 is to 10. Cross multiply. You got here minus 4x is equal to 16, x is equal to 4000. So 5x is to 9x, 5 into 4000, 9 into 4000. Hope all types you have solved here in the ratios. We'll move further in the next class. We'll further proportion we go in the next class. We already solved so many problems in the ratio. We'll go in the next session about the pro proportion. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next class.